Thanks for joining us. This is LEDLightExpert.com with another video for you. Today we're going to be going over the wall packs. Um, to start out with, here's our standard wall pack design. Um, you've got two bolts on one side, two hinges on the other. Makes it real easy to get these open if you're making any modifications, anything needs to be done. Got the lens on the front. There's a location on the top here for a photo cell if it has a photo cell. Um, lots of mounting options on the on the rear. Pretty straightforward, like most wall packs. Now, uh, if you're opening them up, you need to get on the inside and want to see what goes on with these. Uh, we've got one open here for you to see. Uh, this particular unit, we've got the driver in here. Uh, your power lead's going in. If you can see it here, we've got a photo cell mounted on the top, all going to the LED panel inside with your lens to cover. Um, everything's sealed up here for waterproofing. Um, pretty simple when you're getting these mounted. Uh, we have some quick clips here to make it real simple for hooking up. You can also get photo cells so that if you don't have a photo cell and you want to add one, uh, we are going to go over that in the video of how to do so. Photo cells are pretty simple to add on. Um, there's a few different designs also. You may have a different size driver depending on which light you're using. Uh, here's one with a photo cell also and a different driver. We also have a unit here with a driver but no photo cell. So you can see, as you can see, the photo cell would normally be here. No longer have a, a photo cell there. We are going to go over how to install a photo cell. If you don't have a photo cell and you wanted to add it, you could also remove one if for some reason you got one with a photo cell and decided to remove it. Um, lots of functionality with these. Okay, uh, for the photo cells themselves, um, pretty simple. You get light, light's not going to come on. It's dark, um, the lights are going to come on. As an example here, it does take a few seconds. I'm covering up the photo cell, light's on. Um, it can take five to ten seconds once the photo cell is uncovered for the light to turn off. Um, so you're going to see that. You're not really going to notice when you're, when you're working with these, but there is a little bit of a delay one way or the other. Sometimes people have issues where they're getting some reflection of another light that's hitting the photo cell even in the dark. So you do want to make sure that if you're having problems with the photo cell that you don't have any ambient light or anything that is actually setting off the photo cell and turning your light off when it's dark out. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, you might need to play with what you've got going on around the light to make sure that the photo cell is working properly, um, but pretty straightforward. All right, so now we're gonna go over installing a photo cell or possibly removing one from a wall pack if you ever need to. Um, to start out with, real simply, um, your wall pack's gonna come with some wire nuts uh, we use these quick clips around here, just easy testing purposes. Um, now, in, when installing your photo cell, a um, couple things. You want to make sure that your um, neutrals to neutral, uh, real simple, white to white on this. Um, the rest, you need to be make sure you are doing these correctly. Um, the photo cells a lot will have the instructions on the back here, just to make sure you're going to the, the right places here with them. Um, we've got the wires coming in through, through the conduit from the wall, however you have it mounted, coming in. So your, your black line, power line from the house or wherever it's coming from externally is going to go to the black on the, the photo cell itself. Quick clip in. Uh, the red is going to be your out to the power on the driver. Um, make sure you don't get those mixed up. Like I said, the photo cell often is going to have some instructions on the back for you just so you can't get this messed up. Really important. Make sure you have these correct. So we'll get these clipped in here. Now we've got our photo cell wired. Uh, a couple things to make sure you're doing. Um, when you're putting the photo cell in, you do want to make sure these are, are sealed real good. Um, any kind of seal you've got around these, you want to use some sort of sealant or Teflon tape. You can see it here on the sides on here, um, along with any gaskets that come with it. Uh, the back mount does come with a large gasket to help, um, help with your water sealant. 
Um, the, the photo cell itself has one little gasket. You're going to put that on the outside and then it simply screws down tight to hold the photo cell in place. And you are all set. So now you've got a photo cell added to this. Basically same steps reversed if you're removing the photo cell. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to call us at any time.